The finished work of the cross describes that which Jesus has already done for us. You can't add to it. You can't improve it. You can't enhance it. Jesus completed the work, and as he said, it is finished. The provision of the cross is total. The provision of the cross is total. It does not have any lack whatsoever. Grace and the finished work of the cross are foundational concepts in the new covenant. Concepts of benefits, concepts benefit us little, however, if we don't understand the nuts and nuts and bolts. We can have a good concept, but if we don't understand the nuts and bolts, what benefit is it going to make to us? We have to have their practical application in our everyday life. So, what is a practical application? By the Spirit that came through the cross, through the blood, the Holy Spirit only acts through the blood of Christ. He only came after the shed blood and because of the shed blood of Christ. By the Spirit, Christ is in us. By the Spirit, we are in Christ. See, that's identity. That's not performance. We can either have performance or we're going to have identity. We're either going to have law or we're going to have identity, grace. We're going to have law, we're going to have grace. And if we have grace, then it's my identity of being in Christ and Christ being in in us. Uh, There's an old song that most people are readily familiar with, Rock of Ages, and I believe it's the second verse, but it says, Be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. This double cure is grace. The double cure that I am saved from wrath and I've been made pure is strictly Christianity in a nutshell. I was redeemed from where I was. I was made pure by justification just as if I'd never done it. Justification made me as pure as the blood of Jesus can make me. I am as pure as I will ever be. I will never perform and get more pure because performance will not make me or make you pure. Identity identity of being in Christ and Christ in us. Not my law-making rule adhering to performance. My Christianity is based on my identity with Christ. If you stop and think and consider just a little bit, In reality, and as the Bible teaches, there are two ways to get to heaven. If you adhere to the Old Testament law or grace, two methods. But make sure you know Let me read you something from uh, Timothy. It says, "If, If you break one law, you are guilty 
of them all. <coughs> if you break one law, you are guilty of them all. So, if you are attempting to make it to heaven by rule keeping, law keeping, you have to be 100% perfect at all times since you were born. 100% can have nothing go wrong. Not 85%, not 99%, not 75%, not over half or 55%. You cannot have ever done anything against God has to be 100% perfect. Well, that's impossible to be because we were born into sin. So no matter what my performance mentality is that I am trying to weigh, have I done enough? I am thinking of the concept well, maybe my good will outweigh my bad. That's not concept of perfection. Perfection is all good, no bad, 100%. I have to be 100% perfect. And there's only one person that has ever been able to accomplish that, and that's Christ. So, even though it's an avenue, it's an impossibility. That is the reason Jesus came. That is the reason for the cross of Christ. The other avenue is grace. Being I cannot be and have never been 100% perfect, I have to depend on grace. There is no other option. I have to be dependent upon the blood of Christ. I have to be dependent upon his sacrifice, not mine. Animal sacrifice only got the people under and in the Old Testament to paradise, never got them to heaven only got them as far as paradise. It took the blood of Jesus to get them out of paradise and into heaven. The only avenue that Christianity has is the blood of Jesus shed on the cross. If we don't make the cross the centrality of our belief, the belief in his blood, the belief in putting our faith in what he accomplished, placing our faith totally and completely, not adding to the cross in any manner, not splitting our belief between performance and identity but taking the plunge, turning loose of this vine, turning loose, which represents tradition, turning loose tradition. The Bible says the tradition of men is the only thing stronger than the Word of God. It's the only thing that makes void the Word of God. We hold on to that over and replace tradition and make it supreme in so many cases to the Word of God. We've got to turn loose this vine, grasp totally and completely to what Christ has done, what His shed blood has accomplished. As we go through this, we invite you to continue to... Uh, tell people about our podcast. We would appreciate that immensely as you continue to join in every week as these are 
published every Thursday morning, and uh, we invite you to call us, to email us. The information uh, about the ministry is on the lower third of the screen. You can call, contact us, call us, write us anytime we're available for you. Thank you for watching.